Hello everybody and welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and we're the champion now. That's pretty neat. Oh, oh, we're immediately getting into the post game stuff. Okay. Oh, you're not going to give me any more than that. You're just going to give me, hey, look, stuff's happening. We're back in our room. Literally haven't been in this room since the first episode. That's been a while. I do like the Eevee plush. Fun fact, the Joy-Cons that are on this Switch are the Joy-Cons I'm actually using, and I think it knows that because the Switch actually knows what color Joy-Cons you're using. Well, it's funny because the Joy-Cons on my Switch are actually just the gray ones, so... Hmm. Interesting. Oh, someone's at the door. Oh. Hello. Congratulations, champion. Here, yeah, I've got a little something for you as celebration. Master Ball. Ooh, neat. Yeah, best Pokeball ultimate level of performance. With it, you'll catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Professor Magnolia, why? You didn't have to come all this way. After everything Holiday has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamax impossible are parts of Eternatus. And when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Galar. But Holiday and her friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamax incorrectly in the days to come. So, young Holiday, please do what you believe is best. I will. Poor Professor Magnolia. Seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the research into researching into Dynamaxing for him. Yeah. Master Ball's guaranteed to catch any Pokemon in one try, right? That's amazing. I bet you'll run into a Pokemon that'll deserve such an amazing Pokeball one of these days. Yeah, and I think I know where I'm gonna find one. Uh, but first, let's switch Bone Zone out of the front. <laughs> Because you did plenty of work already. Alright, hello, Badoo. Alright, back into the slumbering wield. Because I think we all know what's coming up next. I'd be surprised if you all didn't know. <laughs> but, like, even I can guess. Despite not having seen this part of the game before. Do, 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 do. Still a little confused about German Rose. It was brought up to me that, like, maybe he was just trying to save face by, like, acting like he was trying to bring on the Darkest Day purposefully. And that kind of makes sense. But I don't know. It's, it's not the vibe I got initially. The vibe I got initially is like, haha, I'm bad. I'm gonna cause the darkest, the second Darkest Day. And then. You got to him and he was like, actually, I just effed up. I mean, I guess that's kind of what I was describing there. But, like, that's that's the one that makes the most sense to me, but it wasn't super obvious from the get-go. Alright. Oh, hey, Hop. What's up? Huh? Holiday? What are you doing here in the woods? I mean, what about you? Nobody ever comes in here, since this is the forest where Zacian and Zamazenta rested. It's the best place to do a bit of thinking, since it's so quiet and all. You, still, you, you say you felt like something was calling you here, Holiday. That's... mate, that's pretty uncanny. Oh, but I hadn't had a chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Holiday. Honestly, Holiday, I never thought you'd manage to beat my brother. The greatest champion Galar ever had. He was undefeatable till you came around. It's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, Holiday. So amazing, maybe, that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Holiday, do you think? Would you be up for one more battle? Sure. Thanks, Holiday. Then show me the great, the strength that defeated Lee, the greatest champion we ever had. I'm ready when you are, so just say the word. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty 
confident in leading with Shu. So I think we're good. This will be a serious battle. You're ready for that, aren't you? Of course. This is it. All right, but like, how high are your levels? Cause. Oh wow! I just realized the last couple times I've uh, fought Hop, he did that whole like slapping his face thing, and Leon did the same thing. I'm pretty sure Leon did the same thing when I battled him. That's kind of funny. Ooh, I think I can set up some bulk ups on this double. All right, let's go. I don't think he's gonna hit me with anything that's not physical. Cotton guard. Okay, that's fine. Big floofy sheep, getting more defensive. I'll just set up more bulk ups. And by the time I've taken care of you, the rest of your Pokemon should be not an issue. Unless you have special attacks and you're faster. Buff ledge, whatevs. Bulk up. <laughs> nice. Alright. Cotton guard. Okay, so you've maxed defense. That's fine. <laughs> I guess I'm going to max uh, attack. Uh, bulk up. Nice. Double edge. Whatever. It's fine. Bulk up again. Nice. What else you got, bud? Double edge. It's still not doing much. In fact, it does less every time. Alright, one more. Uh, uh. Nice. Alright, you. Ready for this? It's your debut! Because <laughs> you didn't get used in the, <laughs> in the champion battle. <laughs> Alright. Give it a heal. Let's take another double edge. And at this point, I feel like Brick Break probably kills. So let's go with that. Ah. Nice. All right. I don't think you've got much else to fight me with. Corviknight? Uh, actually, I have something for this. So as long as we don't die in one hit, which we shouldn't because we have six bull cups up. Uh, hold on, actually. Let me just make sure we're... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're max defense. And I don't think it's got any special attacks, so... Thunder Punch! Nice. Didn't expect to be faster, actually, but I guess we're significantly higher level. All right. Cremorant! Uh-huh, uh-huh, another bird. Alright, I mean, if you want to send out that, this bird to die, like, you've got a lot, you've got a lot of, uh, electric weakness on your team, friend. And I've yet to see a ground type on your team. Snorlax, that's a normal type. No good. The break. Nice. Okay. What else you got, fam? Inteleon? You got one more after that? Oh, does he have the dog? I have the dog. Snipe shot? That's a special attack, I think. Uh, yep. <laughs> Wouldn't have done so much damage if it wasn't. Alright. What's your last Pokemon hop? Oh, pink urchin. Never mind. Uh, I guess this is just a brick break, right? Huh. Nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't save his Inteleon for last. Interesting. I mean, I guess he couldn't have Dynamaxed it, but you know. I didn't expect there to be such a gap between you and me, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's... Grinding does that. <laughs> so there really is no way I could ever beat you. 
I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. And if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all the noise was about. And if it isn't Sonya. Holiday, congratulations on beating Leon. Thank you. Taking all in stride like it's your due, eh? You cheeky thing. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Pop, I'm actually no, not working as my grand's assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. You are? And really, I've got you two, the two of you, to thank for that. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Galar region. And I came to care for Pokemon even more than I ever had before. Ah, here, it's a book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> Professor Sonia's published writings. Her new discoveries about the Galar region's legends are recorded in this enjoyable read. I've already got my own copy. Or is that Hop? I think that's Hop. I've already got my own copy. Lined up to buy it on the day it came out. Oh, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign your copy for you later. Anyway, I've got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. I think you can expect great things of the lovely Professor Sonia in the future, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I expect so. Sonia and Holiday, you both amaze me. I've got a lot to live up to here. Is this? Okay. Who? Who this time? Probably not Leon, because he probably couldn't find his way here, so I'm gonna guess... Professor Magnolia. So, what are you young'uns doing here? Oh, no, that's... It was Sonia. Okay. <laughs> Thought someone else was coming in. Anyway. Uh... Oh, that's it, isn't it? You're putting the rusted sword and the rusted shield back in their place? Can't just keep holding on to them forever, right? We were! We were! Uh, yeah, that's what we were doing. We were just about to do that. You forgot entirely, didn't you? What, do you think the two of you are besties now with Zacian and Zama Zamazenta or something? That must be it, Holiday. Why, you felt like you were called here. Let's put the sword and shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we'll get to see Zacian and Zamazenta again someday. Good idea, Hop. Do you heal my Pokemon? No. I mean, there's only one Pokemon to heal, but... Would have been nice if you did it anyway. It's fine. It's fine. I remember when I used to complain that your rival kept healing your Pokemon. Uh, let's put the sword and shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Okay, yeah. Return the rusted sword. Plant the master sword back in its pedestal. Zacian, Zamazenta, thanks loads for helping us out. It took us a little while, but we've brought back your precious, precious relics and all. You and Hop return the rusted sword and rusted shield. All right. That about settles it. Uh, I think that's... Actually, I think that's Hop. It would be nice if they had, like, little nameplates. It would be really nice. Alright, that about settles that. Holiday, why don't you and I head back? What are you gonna do, Sonia? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little more research here in the forest. Hmm? My power spot detector's going off. Hello? Well, 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 I thought I heard someone making some noise over this way. Hello? You look silly. Well, 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 who wouldn't be the Professor Sonia? You wouldn't be the Professor Sonia who wrote the book Galar History. Ah, uh, uh, hello, you bought my book. Why, yes, of course, read it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course, I even wrote an internet review for it. That awful book was filled with lies, so we gave it one star. What? There are no lies printed in that book. That's just plain rude. I'm Swordwood, and I'm Shieldbert. We are the new kings of Gala. We're descendants of the first kings. More than that, we're celebrities. New kings? Descendants? Seriously, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Well, well, well. Could these things here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, 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 they certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. Um... But you take them anyway. Excuse me. Hey, don't go nicking those. We just returned them. Oh, do shut up. We only happened to pick up some things that were dropped on the ground. If you've got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong, hmm? There's no way anyone can prove who those ancient things belong to. 
Even if we can't prove it, they're really important to Zacian and Zamazenta. Oh goodness, such a plebeian, and yet so pushy. If it's really important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle? With celebrities who buy battles for twice what they're worth. What does that even mean? <laughs> I, the magnificent swordword, am your opponent. Okay. Don't even give me a chance to prep. You got it. That's fine. And of course, he's holding a luxury ball. <laughs> Surfetched. Makes sense. Alright, Chu. You got this. Let's bulk up again. Probably a good thing I didn't put Queen in front this time. Because <laughs> this would have been awkward. Oh, you're gonna sword stance, huh? That's fine. <laughs> I'm bulking up. That's just as good. But... This is very anime, I've realized. Just bulking up for turns at a time. Meteor Assault? What does this do? Ooh. Ow. Um. Hmm. So I'm not sure what type that is, but that did a lot of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it's... Fighting type? Because that would mean it had stab. So then we're gonna switch into garlic. Alright, bud, what do you got here? <laughs> oh, I see, it's like a hyper beam, got it. Strange steam, then. Should be plenty. Get out of here. Get out of here, you scrub. Think to yourselves, kings. What's a king to a champion? The blade. That's a steel type. Steel ghost. It's not even an Aegis Slash, what the hell? Uh, okay, so... Steel Ghost. Hey, I guess it's time for Queen to come out. Sounds good to me. Alright, Queen, you got this. Definitely wasn't going to be using a Fighting-type move on Garlic, so... As long as we're faster, we should be just fine. Give it a Night Slash. Nice. Sacred... Oh, I forgot they had that move. Okay. It's fine. We'll just Night Slash again. <laughs> Queen almost died in her first battle. <laughs> okay. Alright. That's fine. Alright. Galissapod. Bug. And... Water. Okay. Bug water. Who do we want to deal with a bug water type? Um, well, I guess we don't have anything like super good against it. So I think the safe bet would be to go into Bone Zone. Alright, Bone Zone! Yeah, what kind of kings are you if you don't even have a Pokemon like this? Nice hit, scrub. In fact, I think I'm just gonna set up on you. <laughs> Sucker Punch? Didn't work! Ha! <laughs> yeah, I know that's one of your best moves. You already used First Impression, so you can't use it again. <laughs> Sucker Punch? Nope! And guess what? I happen to know that only has 5 PP! So if I use 5 Cosmic Powers, then I'm fine! <laughs> I won't have to deal with your Sucker Punch at all! And you'll probably use, like, Liquidation, because I know that's in your learn set. Ah... <laughs> uh. This is fun. This is fun. Like, not that this whole game hasn't been fun, but this is fun. Like, teaching these losers a lesson. Oh, we have X-Scissor. Oh, it did so much. Still have, like, two Sucker Punches left, right? I mean, you're not dealing any damage to me, so... Go for the Sucker Punch! Do it! 
Liquidation. Okay. We're fine. <laughs> you can't even do enough to get through my leftovers. I don't I don't know if this is gonna be work out for you. Something tells me Hop's gonna lose his battle. <laughs> just cause that's just kinda how things have been going lately. Doesn't seem to have won a lot of battles lately. <laughs> Sucks to be hot, I guess. Alright, anywho. Alright, I've got as many cosmic powers as I can get. So Dynamax Cannon now. Uh, cha! Nice. Oh wow, just barely survived, huh? See, now would be a nice time to have Stealth Rocks up. Bishark. Not afraid of your Bishark. Because uh, I have Flamethrower, and actually, Bisharp is one of the things that Bone Zone grinded against, so... And also Shu, and also... Why can't I remember? Who else? Uh, uh, Bone Zone and Shu and Queen, they all grinded against Bisharp. Recover? No. No, I don't want Recover. Hmm. That's enough faffing about. I suppose it's time to get serious. Uh, with your Galissapod that has two health? Sure, I guess. It's okay. First impression, whatever. I forget, does that make me flinch? No, okay. So yeah, it does nothing. Uh, uh, what a scrub, though. Acting like he's all important. Oh, how can this be? My... my Pokémon! Yeah, no, you're not that good, Scrub. Wait, did he have a mic on him? It looks like he has a mic on him. Shh, to sh somehow have defeated the adorable Pokémon I go strolling with. You're certainly strong. However, it appears that my younger brother was victorious. Damn it, Hop! Sorry, Holiday, I lost to him. <laughs> Something on your mind, boy? You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Older brother, isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh, now that I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child, snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe she was also present during the destruction of the magnificent mural of our ancestor, so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute, destroying the mural our family has held in such high esteem for so long. Okay, that was Bede. Mural? You mean the one that hid the historical ruins of Zacian and the others? And hold on a moment, Holiday wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let us withdraw for now. Next time we shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. That's right. And with that, farewell. Wait, stop. Get back the rusted shield. Hold on, Hop. Ah, uh, that kid. He's gone and recklessly run off. At least you're calm, Holiday. I expected as much. I am surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe that had something to do with it? His own rival became the new champion, and his goal vanished before his eyes. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway, Swordwood and Shieldbert, was it? I think I might know something about th uh, where those two weirdos went. Shall we go over it? Shall we go over it to at the lab in Wedtrust? Sure. Let's go. I bet I didn't even need to ask. Thanks. Okay, we'll meet up later then. I'll head back to the lab. Okay. So I guess we're gonna head to the lab next time. But, uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap! Well, that settles that, I guess.